Hi everyone. Welcome to the E episode of Knife Knife's series, ABCs of Produce. Today we are doing eggplant. I see that I still have the sticker on here. Eggplant, it is a fruit technically. We think of it as a vegetable because it's not sweet, but it is used across the globe, South Africa, South Asia, Europe. In America and New Zealand, we call it eggplant because there is a variety that is small little round white eggplants. And when you put them next to an egg, it looks exactly like one. In the UK and parts of Canada, I think, and Ireland, they call it aubergine, which is my favorite term for it. It's just like very nice. And then in South Africa and South Asia, they call it binjal. It's an absolutely wonderful plant to add to stews, soups, just because, like I said, it picks up that flavor, but it is very bitter. But one of the ways we can help with that is by using a method called salting. And so we will go over that today. It'll be the first thing we do. So let's get started. So today we will be starting with our eggplant, which I've already cut. We will also have some tomato paste, a little smoked paprika, some Italian seasoning, and white pepper. If you don't have white pepper, black pepper is totally fine. You can use that. White pepper is just a preference for me. We will also need some salt and one clove of garlic. And also I have here what is called schmaltz. And this is chicken fat. If you want to do a vegan version, find yourself a high fat oil. So something like olive oil or avocado oil is great, coconut oil, maybe one that that coconut flavor is kind of taken out of. If you don't have chicken fat, which you get from roasting a chicken, bacon fat is another great option. Okay, so we've cut our top off. Next thing we're gonna do is we are going to peel the aubergine or the eggplant. And you don't have to, the peels are edible. They're just really tough and I prefer to take them off. Another reason people like to leave the skin on is the color. It's just, it presents well, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's all up to you. You know, if you're making this for a group of people and you want to like make it a presentation, leave the skins on by all means. Now we're going to cut the eggplant into some pretty thick slices, like three quarters of an inch. And that's because we're going to be cooking them at a high temperature and we don't want them to shrivel up till they're nothing. Down near the butt of the eggplant, you'll start to find these seeds dispersed through it. Those are fine, you can eat those. You don't have to worry about pulling them out. Now that we have these all sliced and ready, what I have here is a sheet tray with a rack over it. Because what's gonna happen is when we put salt on the eggplant, it's gonna start to pull the water out of the plant itself and it'll start to drip off and drain. If you don't have a rack to put over a sheet tray, that's fine. You can just put a towel down on the counter or on the sheet tray and you can use the towel to soak up whatever water is out. So I will just place these on here. If you're somebody who loves the taste of eggplant and that bitterness is really enjoyable, you don't have to do this part. This is a really good option for people who are maybe new to eggplant as a dish or a, a produce that they're incorporating to their diet that they may not be used to the flavor. If you're new to eggplant, I highly recommend this. We will take a pinch of salt. So we're gonna hold our hand pretty high above the eggplant. I'm gonna say about a foot and I'm just gonna move my fingers together in this motion and that'll just evenly sprinkle the salt onto the eggplant itself. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then I'm just gonna press the salt into the fruit, into the meat of the, the plant. And I will turn these over. I'm gonna do the same thing again. So that is done. 
Don't worry about the amount of salt that is on there because we're going to be wiping a lot of that off when we're done with our process of just like letting it sit in the salt. So we have a timer set for 15 minutes. During that time, we're going to work on the sauce that we're going to be putting onto the eggplant. So this is when we will need our tomato paste, whatever fat you're using, whether it's chicken, pork, vegan, whatever it is, and our spices. So the Italian blend, the smoked paprika, and the white powder. The reason I chose Italian blend is you get, so you get marjoram, thyme, rosemary, sage, oregano, and basil all in one thing. I will start with a small bowl, and I have a half a container of tomato paste left. I usually buy these and I'll use them in sauces and stuff and then just save whatever I have so I get multiple uses out of it. Tomato paste is very concentrated so it's a great thing to do with that because these cans are only like 89 cents. So it's like I'm paying 89 cents for three different dishes. All right, I take a knife and I just run the back of the knife against the tin to kind of evenly scrape all this stuff out. I'm going to do an eighth of a teaspoon of white pepper. So an eighth of a teaspoon is just half of your quarter teaspoon. Just white pepper has a really strong flavor, so I don't want to overpower my dish. The smoked paprika, I'm going to use a half a teaspoon. I absolutely love smoked paprika with tomato. It is one of my all-time favorite combinations. And then last, I'm going to put my herbs in. Full teaspoon of the herbs. So what I wanna do now is prep my garlic using my little small knife. I'm just gonna cut the tip off. If I'm using multiple cloves of garlic, I would use the method where I kind of crush them a bit and then put them in a bowl with a lid and shake them and it removes all the skins. But if I just have one, it's pointless to do that. Watch out for other things. And I'm just using the smallest hole on my cheese grater to just grate the garlic in there. That way, you know, it's taking the time to cut it. It's unnecessary if you have this tool. Next thing I'm going to do is add my fat, and I'm going to do a tablespoon of the fat. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. And the reason I want to use fat in this, and why I'm not a huge fan of anything fat-free, is because fat is where all the flavor is. So what makes something taste good is the fat. That's why I think with a lot of butter in it, it tastes so good, is because butter has a lot of fat in it. Just enjoy it. Just eat good shit. I'm just gonna incorporate all this stuff together. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. About a tablespoon. And I'm just slowly incorporating that in. I'm being careful because this bowl is really small. I don't wanna like spill all this stuff over the edge. Again, I'm adding a bit more water to it. That time I added like a tablespoon and a half. And I'm being even more careful because it's even more full. You know, as you can see, it's becoming more of a tomato paste. But the water is allowing me to incorporate everything just real evenly. Sauce is ready to go into a pan and be heated. There's still time left on these little babies. And if I can get a close up, maybe you can see there, you can't really see it on the camera, but if you touch them, you can feel like how wet they are. So that salt is pulling out all that water. There's just like a ton of water that's pooled outside of them. I'm just going to give them a nice little dry off with a paper towel. You see all that water that's pooled out. And in this moment, I'm wiping away a lot of that salt. 
You can still see and feel some of the crystals. You can also use a hand towel for this. I guess I should not be using paper towels because it's really wasteful. Now that these are all dry, it is time to heat up our pan. All right, so we will have our heat pretty high because we are searing these. And so we want our pan to get really hot. I am, as usual, using a cast iron. This is already getting pretty heated, but I want it to just be very, very, very hot. So it'll probably take a couple minutes. So with my eggplants, I will just have them right back here. On another pan, I'm going to put my sauce in. And this one will go on medium. Lovely. This is still heating up. Sing a song. While you're waiting for your pan to heat up, you can do some jumping jacks. I don't know how many, but you can do some. Ooh, this is coming alive. Once this heats up, we'll taste it, and we might actually end up needing to put in some more seasoning. We'll see from there. And now I'm gonna throw in Okay, let's get a spoon. Mmm, that is pretty tasty. The thing about tomato paste is it can be pretty acidic. So ways to mellow that out is one, adding some salt, and we're getting some smoke, so I'm gonna turn down to a low. I'm gonna add some salt, but I'm also gonna add some sugar. Bitter foods need salt. Sour foods need sugar. Is like a very general kind of rule of thumb. Very basic. Now we need to check our eggplant. So as you can see, we're starting to get some color, but I want that color to be a bit more pronounced. So I am going to let these sit for a bit longer on this side. And I'm not putting any grease because I don't want to fry them and I don't want to make these soggy. So if I add oil to the pan, these can get, you know, they'll get a little more soft than I prefer them. Dry pan is the way to go. All right, taste this again. Yeah, much more palatable. I'm gonna add a pinch more sugar and a pinch more salt and a bit more water. All right, so I added a quarter cup of water and so our sauce, as you can see, is turning into, well, it's turning into a sauce now instead of a paste. And we're just gonna let that hang out on low. As you can see, we're getting some smoke from our eggplant, so it's time to go ahead and turn those babies over. And I will turn down the heat of the cast iron a bit. So cast iron, it retains heat really well. So once I get it to the point that I want it, I can actually turn down the heat and it'll maintain the temperature that I want instead of increasingly getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Taste this guy again after we added that bit of water and more salt and sugar. That is delightful. I'm actually gonna add more salt though. But this is me, this is my preference. The sugar really balanced out that acidic flavor of the tomatoes. Now the salt's just gonna add savoriness and it's really going to lift up the flavors of the herbs and now as you can see i've got nice color on either side i'm going to remove these bits of eggplant and i will add the remaining four i got one score today and that was my tomato sauce. So I'm gonna turn off the camera and let these finish cooking and as soon as they're done and they look like these guys, we will plate. As you can see, all of our eggplant are seared. I like to plate them in a circular fashion, starting from largest to smallest. Even if I'm making food just for myself, I find it important and just enjoyable to make it a little extra special. Nice and lovely and a lovely little ring. Next, I've got my sauce. 
And I, because I eat a lot of salt, I will re-salt my eggplant just a little bit. And I'm just going to pour directly over. And I'll just spread it out just a little bit. And then next, I'm gonna put on a little garnish, because why not? It's been a day. And I like to use scissors a lot of the time for my green onion, and I will just cut them at an angle, because then you get these lovely long strips that are just so pretty. And this onion is just gonna add like a bright, fresh flavor to the dish, but you don't have to have a garnish. It is not required. Another thing you could put on top of here would be Parmesan or Asiago, some kind of like lovely hard cheese that really complements, you know, the tomato flavor. You can put parsley on here. We could even put like more, you could put more seasoning, you know, shake it out this time. Da da da, there's that. What else can we put? There's nothing else to put. Okay, those are our options. <laughs> this guy, moment of truth. The eggplant really softens up. Let's cook. If you let this sit with the marinara sauce on it for a while, it'll really absorb those flavors. Much less bitter because of the salting. I'm not really getting much bitterness at all. I will say, texturally, for me, eggplant is not my favorite, but I think it is important to know how to cook things that even I may not enjoy because our friends and our loved ones enjoy them and sometimes we wanna cook for other people. Or sometimes it's fun to go back and try something you haven't tasted for a long time because you didn't like it and then one day you do. Sometimes that happens. So that was our episode for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe learn to like eggplant or try eggplant if you never have tried it before. If you do, please follow me on Instagram and show me what it is you've made, if you've done anything differently, if you added other ingredients to it. I wanna see all of that. My Instagram handle is down below in the description, so definitely follow me on there. Show me what you got. I have a Knife Knife Facebook page. I do a Sunday cook along every Sunday at 1 p.m. where I post the ingredients for that recipe or that dish earlier in the week and then we make a breakfast or a lunch together. Really easy, simple stuff, but it's a way to get people cooking together even though we are distancing. I want to improve the way we interact with food. We have like a lot of just hangups in this society and I want to improve that and I want to teach people to love food and love themselves with food. Anyway, I'll see y'all later.